Sagittarius, this is your 2022 general reading. So I've done love and I've done finance and I've done career or whatever it is that you're looking for with 2022. So this is just the last little bit of detail of information that you need to know for 2022. I'll pull some Oracle cards. We'll hop right into your tarot reading. Also, there will be an extended for this. And in the extended, I will go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. Don't forget to check out your moon rising and Venus signs too as well to get a bigger picture of what's going on. Never ending story. Um, I'm feeling some depression. Breathe. <clears throat> I'm liking the direction it's going out though. Except this one, chaos and conflict. What are you not seeing? Peace. I feel like the rug has been pulled out from underneath you again, Sagittarius. I'm feeling like I'm hearing again. Here we go, again. But I also feel like you're not seeing that this time around, there's a sense of peace in the, in the midst of chaos. While it's happening again, or whatever is happening again, I feel like you, this, it's different this time. There's something different this time. Moon. You're not seeing the change in things. Five of Wands, the conflict from people externally. Seven of Cups, the choices that you have. There's sometimes too many choices can actually cause confusion, I'm seeing. Chariot, Page of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and the overall energy is the Four of Wands. So this is um, coming together and overcoming specific situations. The moon and the chariot, I feel like whatever it is, it's, it's moving quickly. So it's like you're not even seeing. <clears throat> okay, so the moon is meant to expose you for who you really are. There's some sort of illusion that being who you are or being who you were meant to be is supposed to be hidden. You're supposed to keep part of yourself hidden. That you know nobody, nobody's gonna want you because you're too much. There's, you know, if if you're too much for some people, then they're not your people. Those are not your people. Five of Wands. This is about taking care of yourself and um, facing conflict when it comes to other people. I feel like there might have been a situation where um, you entered into it and instead of actually combating with these people or fighting with these people, you took the high road and you just stood your ground. And so I feel like you left them confused, but it gave you lots of choices by stepping into your power. There, And again, like this chaos and conflict, I feel like, I feel like, you walked into the situation again, but you handled it differently. And you handled it by just being firm and not um, by, be, by doing gray rock, by not becoming um, <clears throat> excitable or frustrated. This was a fairly painful, quick process. It was like all of a sudden things were fine and then they weren't. And then it's like now because you were able to handle the situation differently, that's the balance that you've been waiting for, the balance that you've tried to create. There's like this patience that you were able to develop for yourself and it's like you have patience for your voice, you have patience for your understanding, you have patience for yourself and it's like you know that all of these people were sitting here in creating an illusion or create, you know, it's like you spoke your truth and people are like, oh, why would you say that? You know, it's like you said something that you wanted or spoke up and expressed yourself and people are like, I can't believe that you would say something like that. I can't believe that you would do that. And so you came into this like idea that what you want doesn't matter. Who you are doesn't matter. Your authenticity doesn't matter. And I feel like you're, you're actually like, screw you. It absolutely 100% matters. And you're not going to quiet my voice. You're not going to quiet who I am. And I feel like, I feel like you might have been in that situation for an extended period of time. And it was something that you did battle with. I feel like it might have caused a lot of depression or anxiety. 
And then you finally realize that the reason you had anxiety and depression was because of all of these other people that were sitting here telling you that you weren't worthy of what it is that you wanted. And that's why they're confused, but you have many choices because you stepped into your power. You stepped into your peace and you're not even seeing that that's what happened. There's a whole new beginning stable um, balancing that's coming in. It's like there's there's a whole new perception. It's like you're in a different realm now, on a different level than you even expected. <clears throat> there's a patience for yourself that was developed. And by that patience, that's what actually creates this new stability, this new direction for you, Sagittarius. So in the extended, I'm going to go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share button. And a couple of videos are going to pop up here. If the title resonates for you, I highly recommend you check them out. And I will see you over there.